Good evening and welcome to NCAA.com for the 2021 National Collegiate Women's Ice Hockey Selection Show. I'm Will Haskett. For many of the eight schools about to hear their names called tonight, this is a two-year wait to compete for a championship. And with the 2020 tournament lost to the pandemic, the action will no doubt be intense. The field this year is again made up of four automatic qualifiers and four precious at-large bids. All eight teams will travel to one site this year to compete in this year's championship with the quarterfinals taking place on March 15th and 16th in Erie, Pennsylvania. The Erie Insurance Arena will also play host to the Women's Frozen Four coming up on March the 18th with the championship two days later. So now, which eight programs get a trip to Erie? We unveil the bracket right now. We start with the top overall seed. It belongs to Northeastern, a historic season for the Huskies could end up in the program's first ever Frozen Four. Team second in the country in goals scored and first in goals allowed. It hasn't lost since the second weekend of December because Aaron Frankel has been spectacular. Spent most of the season in net, sporting a 97% save percentage and anchoring a stingy defense. And after winning the program's fourth straight Hockey East Tournament title yesterday, that defense gave up just three goals in three games en route to the championship. The Huskies will face the eight-seeded. That would be Robert Morris, and it must be good to be the Colonials tonight gathered to watch the show, fresh off another College Hockey America tournament title. It was a nail-biting path to the championship, surviving Mercyhurst in the semifinals 3-2, and then surviving a 1-0 battle with Syracuse for the title. Jillian Thompson had the game winner, which proved to be the championship clincher, while Reagan Kirk had 36 saves in the shutout effort. The second quarterfinal starts with fifth-seeded Minnesota Duluth, the winners of the first three national championships and five in total. The Bulldogs return to the championship with a two-headed monster at the top of the lineup. Anna Klein and Gabby Hughes have accounted for nearly a third of the team's points all season. Those scores will be needed against Colgate, winners of the ECAC championship earlier today. It took a 3-2 comeback win to secure the championship and a safe viewing experience tonight for the selections. Down 1-0 in the first period to St. Lawrence. The Raiders scored three straight and held on down the stretch for the title. Sammy Smigliani assisted on the go-ahead goal and then scored what proved to be the insurance goal needed to claim the trophy. All right, the three seed this year belongs to Ohio State. The Buckeyes schedule was limited at times this year, but with five different players netting five or more goals this season, there is balance here on a team looking to advance to the Frozen Four for the first time in program history. The Buckeyes were trying to book in the season with wins over Wisconsin, but an overtime heartbreaker today and the WCHA finale denied them that big momentum builder heading into the tournament. So that momentum will need to get together quickly because it'll be tested by Boston College as the Eagles had to sweat out the weight after a lost to UConn in the opener of the Hockey East Tournament, but had the resume to get back to the tournament and keep those title dreams alive. Savannah Norcross and Kelly Brown lead the way for the team. They each have 18 points this season, Norcross being the only goal scorer on the team with 10 or more to the back of the net this year. All right, the final nervous wait of the night ends right now. We start the party for Providence. Breathe easy, Friar fans, as your team gets the nod now into the select field of eight. The run to the Hockey East Championship game was a feather in the cap and gets the program into the postseason where they're hoping another run this time ends with a win in the final game. And it will be Wisconsin in the opening matchup, still the reigning NCAA champions after the win in 2019. This will be the longest wait any team has had to defend its title, but the Badgers have the team to do so. The top score team in a loaded WCHA. Darrell Watts leads the offense in both goals and assists this season. A five-time national champion, Wisconsin could match rival Minnesota, which doesn't make the field this year for most titles all-time with the championship this season. They're off to a good postseason start, knocking off Minnesota yesterday 5-3. They got an overtime winner just 42 seconds into the extra uh, into the extra time frame by Lacey Eden to win the WCHA final faceoff today against Ohio State. All right, and there you have it. All eight teams still alive in pursuit of a national championship. The puck drops on the quarterfinals just over a week from today in Erie. Games you can watch right here on NCAA.com. The Frozen Four will take place on March the 18th with the championship coming up on March the 20th, all on the ESPN family of networks. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Will Haskett. Congratulations and best of luck to all of the student athletes competing in this year's championship. If a champion can teach us anything, it's to stay hungry, to keep our resolve, and to prepare for what's next. 
So to the players and the college sports community who never stop believing, the end goal is in sight. The ultimate rally. A comeback for all ages. For the fans, the teams, and most importantly, the players. Let's bring on the next champion. We're ready.